Welcome once again. Right now we're at 1 Timothy chapter 4. We're going to be talking about false teachers and how to be a good servant of the Lord. Paul goes on in his letter to Timothy saying, But the Spirit says expressly that in the later times some will fall away from the faith, paying attention to seducing spirits and doctrines of demons through the hypocrisy of men who speak lies, branded in their own conscience as with a hot iron, forbidding marriage and commanding to abstain from foods which God created to be received with thanksgiving by those who believe and know the truth. For every creature of God is good, and nothing is to be rejected if it is received with thanksgiving. For it is sanctified through the word of God and prayer. Now, in context, in the context of the culture, in the context of the scriptures, this is not talking about, you know, eating lobster and shrimp and pork. This is not what it's saying at all. Paul was dealing with people who was basically saying you you shouldn't eat any kind of meat. And we know that by reading his letter to the Romans. Paul is not exhorting anybody to eat things that God said not to eat, okay? We know that God's word, which includes God's law, is eternal. And we know that if Paul ever taught anybody to disobey God, to disobey the Torah, there would be a huge riot. They would arrest him immediately and they would drag him before the Sanhedrin and they would charge him for violating the law. And we know that Paul didn't violate the law, neither did he teach violating the law. Check out my teachings on Acts chapter 15, Acts chapter 21, and Philippians, where Paul said himself, concerning the righteousness which is by the law, which is of the Torah, I'm blameless. So if he obeyed Torah and he told other people not to, that would make him a hypocrite. That would make him a double standard hypocrite. So we know in context, this is not talking about disobeying the dietary laws of God. If you instruct the brothers of these things, you will be a good servant of Jesus Christ, nourished in the words of the faith and of the good doctrine which you have followed. But refuse profane and old wives' fables. Exercise yourself toward godliness, for bodily exercise has some value, but godliness has value in all things. So going to the gym has some value, Paul says, but godliness is of much more value. Having the promise of the life which is now and of that which is to come, this saying is faithful and worthy of all acceptance. For to this end, we both labor and suffer reproach because we have set our trust in the living God, who is the Savior of all men, especially of those who believe. Command and teach these things. Let no man despise your youth, but be an example to those who believe in word, in your way of life, in love, in spirit, in faith, and in purity until I come. Pay attention to reading, to exhortation, and to teaching. Don't neglect the gift that is in you, which was given to you by prophecy, with the laying on of the hands of the elders. Be diligent in these things. Give yourself wholly to them, that your progress may be revealed to all. Pay attention to yourself and to your teaching. Continue in these things, for in doing this, you will save both yourself and those who hear you. Seek God while he may be found, and if you seek him with all your heart, you will find him. Call upon him and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.